Well, it's October 12th. And it's 9.30 a.m. Seven years ago, today, at this very moment, I got a phone call that changed my life forever. My wife called me and told me my mom was basically no longer with us. That my daughter and my dad had found her and she wasn't breathing. And the last conversation I'd had with her, with, with her was the day before. And the last word she told me was, she hated me and she hung the phone up. Well, still seven years later, and it still hurts. But, I know my mom loved me and she'd want me to keep trucking forward and keep doing this thing I'm doing on this journey. So I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna try to keep making her proud. I tell you, life comes in waves and you have to learn how to take those waves. Sometimes they're gonna like, they're gonna crash and burn. You're gonna have to get back up on that board and get back to paddling. And that's what I've been doing for about the last year, paddling, try, trying to get over this wave. And I know with God on my side, I'm gonna get there. But what I wanna get at this morning is that God has a plan in your life. He had one in mind. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it's what I needed. So if you're going through something, just remember you ain't alone. And if you're toting a bunch of burdens and depression and stuff on your shoulders, give it to God and let it go. I'm gonna close with this. If you got somebody in your life that you love and you hadn't talked to them in a while or y'all had a little argument or something's going on and y'all ain't talking, but you love them, get past that nonsense. Get them a call or a text and let them know you love them. There ain't no shame in letting people know you love them. So, Treat each day like it's your last, because one day it will be. But I'm about to get about a three or four mile walk in and reflect on life. Thank y'all for listening. I love y'all, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you.